Welcome back. This is Hudson Moto Visuals. My name is Dave, and today we are going to review my Scorpion EXO R1 air helmet. Let's get on the bike. All right, what's going on guys? We are on the CBR 650F. We got the Scorpion EXO R1 Air helmet on. This helmet is a DOT ECE approved helmet. So it's good for the street and it's good for the track. So the helmet retails for $430. I got it in the red neon color uh, they do have basic colors uh, which is a little cheaper so they come out to almost $399 $400 or black silver white all the standard colors and also they have a uh, race inspired ones these are this is a awesome helmet you know I got this helmet because I did get my CBR here and Using Harley helmets or open face helmets was kind of a pain with, with this, you know, especially with an open face or a half helmet, you gotta wear glasses. Uh, and then when I first bought this bike, I was using a HJC ST70 helmet. That helmet was kind of heavy. Uh, had the drop down sun visor. Yeah, when in this position, I am not a tall rider. I'm only uh, five six. My arms are short, so I do reach on this bike. So it's not like a super sport, uh, this bike. It, a little, it is a little more upright. If your arms were a little longer, you're a little taller, you'd feel more comfortable, but it's not as high as a Ninja 650. You know, it has that sporty feel to it. I wanted a race helmet. Uh, I'm not thinking that I would do track days one day, but maybe one day with this bike. I'm not sure. Uh, but I wanted something lighter, you know, my head is, uh, I'm always looking up when I'm in the tuck position, it feels nice. Uh, right now I'm going about 40 miles an hour, so I don't feel any wind buffeting. I also like that the cheek pads come down below chin line, you know, it's a very comfortable helmet. Also what I like about it is they have cheek pads that can uh, takes off about five millimeters or ten millimeters off the cheek pads and You know you could order them separately obviously they're separate, but uh, You could get a perfect fit and also it has almost like that Reebok Air pump system so if it is a little loose you can just pump up the helmet I actually don't use it. It actually is a snug fit on my face using the regular cheek pads uh, and it fits fine, it fits comfortable. Uh, this is a uh, intermediate oval head shape. Uh, I feel like I'm a little more oval uh, than anything, but this does fit uh, a lot better. Uh, so far, the helmet, um, I put about, like I said, about 500 miles on it. Um, it's a great fitting helmet for me. And I also put the, uh, like I said, the, uh, the Pack Talk Slim on there and really didn't uh, hinder the, uh, when I'm going at high speeds, I get no buffeting, I get no drag from it. Uh, that's why I went with the, the Slim. And also I could just take out the Slim if I ever want to do a track day because I know they're very strict on tracks that can't have anything on the helmet. Uh, maybe I would try the uh, smaller 
cheek pads and see how that feels. But right now, after you break it in, I, I don't think you really need to. This is a pin lock uh, shield. I do not have the pin lock in it. Um, obviously, that's separate. I don't know why helmet manufacturers don't just give us a pin lock ready with the pin lock in it. The high end ones do. Um, but I can't complain. I mean, for for 430 bucks, really, I'm not really going to complain that they're missing the pin lock. So right now we're cruising at 30 miles an hour. I'm sitting straight up. No wind buffeting. Head check is awesome. I don't. I really don't hear anything coming up from the chin. They do have a exhaust vent up in the front in the chin here. Also on the top of the head. Um, I did ride with it a few days ago and it was a little hot, so um, it wasn't too bad. Damn, this camera keeps on just fading backwards here. Um, it feels good at speed, you know? It, it really cuts the air. I could get in the tuck position here and and it feels nice. Um, it feels light on the head. You know, my head is an XL, so you know any helmets are usually a little heavier because of my head size. But you know, I, I can't say anything really bad about this uh, helmet. Uh, you also uh, have emergency cheek pads on here, so if any of you get in event of a crash. You know, the paramedics, you can just pull that out without removing the helmet. That's a nice feature. You know, honestly, looking at all the other high-end, you know, track-focused helmets, they run up to about $800, $900. And, you know, I really feel you can't go wrong with this helmet. You know, it's half the price. It's by a good brand. I mean, Scorpion's been around, you know, since I started riding, and that was, you know, and that's like the, in the 2000s. They've probably been around longer, but, you know, it, it, it's a quality helmet. Uh, it, it's awesome for both street and for track. You know, and it, it's relatively quiet. You know, you don't get a lot of wind buffeting. And I feel like it's uh, a helmet that could do it all, basically. You know, it could be, it can be in that range of a uh, showy uh, RF-1200, you know. Um, a lot of, uh, especially Scorpion, they're upping up their game on, on track-focused helmets. And, um, you know, they're giving you cheek pads for a perfect fit they got that air pump system inside the helmet really really for four hundred and thirty dollars you really can't go wrong with this helmet so the construction of the helmet what i've read is a carbon fiber nope i'm sorry fiberglass shell with a uh, poly res in it do i know what that means no but it's supposed to cut down the weight you know th this is more of like a unscientific review of a helmet that you know it's my personal opinion you know I've to tell you the truth I've tried the RF 1200 I like Arai uh, helmets and they, they're awesome like uh, you know I couldn't even tell you I wanted one of those but for the price I, I don't know I couldn't I couldn't just justify it you know I know $430 is a lot but $430 is a lot less than a $600, $700 helmet. I mean, with that 300 bucks I save, I could get new gloves, new jacket. Then I could go racing, you know? But, you know, it, and it's not a, like a bargain bin helmet. It's not, you're, you're gonna get quality out of this helmet. Yeah, is it gonna be a little heavier than those, uh, like, AGV helmets that, uh, their top of the line one that costs 1100 bucks? Yeah course it's going to be heavier but for what you need it to do you need it to be more street oriented than actual track yeah 
why not man why not pick up this helmet this red neon is a pretty cool color i thought it wouldn't really really doesn't match the bike i wanted a helmet that matched the bike but i think it was getting too crazy if i matched the bike match the helmet match the jacket uh, i get a little out of hand So, you know, we're going to get on the highway. We'll see how it feels in under maybe 60 or 70 miles an hour. Feels good, man. It feels good. I got no uh, wind buffeting. I got no, um, you know, uh, wind check on the helmet. You don't feel it as much. You know, even in the tuck position, it feels nice. And now this is where, you know, the higher expensive helmets would come into play. You know, I'm getting a little bit of wind noise right now. It, you know, it's not a perfect seal. At the end of the day, oh, we gotta pull over here. My GoPro looks like it's gonna fall out. This four cylinder wants to scream, bro. I love it. The other day I was thinking about maybe trading this in, getting a, uh, they had for sale at the place where I bought this bike, a 2019 1000RR SP. It was like maybe like three grand off. And I was so tempted, so tempted to trade this in and get that. I called them and everything, but uh, I think about it now. Uh, I don't need a leader bike. I really don't. You know, I'm never going to go to the track. I'm never going to, you know. Uh, uh, do I like going fast? Who doesn't? I mean, I do. But, you know, I, I'm, I'm basically going to kill myself if I, if I got that bike. I know myself. So, you know, on this one, it's a little docile. You can still have fun with it. You can rip in the corners. So that's that. It feels nice. Feels good. It wants to be in that tuck position. I'm um, getting a ton of airflow right through the through the front here. I feel a little bit of the air coming out the head. You know, I've got some nice exhaust vents in the back and. really can't complain with this helmet you know I really think it's a steal for $430 even with the carbon version they're coming out with what it's gonna be 500 bucks uh, it's even even more of a steal and uh, you know you really can't go wrong uh, my ass is hanging out right now of, uh, of the back And by the way, I did not get paid by Scorpion to review this helmet. I just wanted, uh, I just wanted to give you my personal opinion on this helmet. You know, you know, everyone's so worried about getting the best gear. You know, I'm looking for yeah the best gear, but I'm looking for quality gear like this helmet at a good price. You know, you know, if I had to pick you know all day every day yeah i would pick those nicer showy helmets or eye helmets that are built for it you know so guys if you guys are wanting to get a sport bike helmet you're looking to get a sport bike helmet uh, or a new one or you're retiring another one man really really take a look at this uh scorpion exo r1 air helmet man you really can't go wrong with it if you want to do track days, oh man, this is great for track days, I bet, you know. Um, maybe one day I'll, uh, 
I'll do a track day with this helmet and I'll let you know how it really feels on the track. But on the street, you cannot go wrong. I mean, you cannot. Seriously, do I need a thousand liter bike? No, I don't. This is fast enough for me. <laughs> so that's it, man. A little quick ride. Took the helmet out. And uh, so if you guys are in the market for buying a new sport bike helmet, man, take a look at this one, man. This is the uh, Scorpion EXO R1 Air Helmet. And um, I really think you won't be disappointed with this helmet. Uh, I'll drop a link in below where I got mine from. I got mine from Cycle Gear. All right, so that's it, guys. I hope you liked today's video. If you liked today's video, hit that like button. Drop a comment in below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You also could follow me on Instagram. I'll leave all the links down below. Uh, if you like this kind of content, let me know. I can review some of my other stuff. And stay tuned. Also, I will be reviewing some of my camera gear. You know, in this channel, I like to do motor vlogs and also, you know, photography stuff. So if you're into that kind of thing, like I said, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Ride safe. Peace.